And according to what I've been told, Saucy Santana said that if he wins the fight with DJ Academics, if Saucy Santana wins the fight with DJ Academics, if Saucy Santana wins the fight with DJ Academics, he gonna clap his cheeks. How did Academics even end up here? Let's find out. So a while back, Act got into it with Young Miami. And if y'all know, she was in a real public relationship with Diddy. And so December 22 come around, news came out, he had a kid on the way. But it was one thing. It wasn't with the woman he was publicly messing with, yeah, Miami. And you know, act being act, he had to give his thoughts on He got on Twitter and said this, did he differ? My boy done messed around, had a side baby on his main cheek. Brother love a real one. And after he tweeted this, it started a whole war. Yeah, Miami responded, I'm nobody's side chick. Let's just make this clear on this good Monday. I don't come second to nobody. She kept going on academics. My name ain't me, so keep it out your mouth. You the type of dude my uncle doing life sentences for. But you know, Actual wasn't finna let it be chatting like that. He responded right back. Misdirected, angry. Brother Love wouldn't approve of this behavior. I ain't one that had a side baby on y'all. Relax. Yeah, Miami mad at me for pointing out the obvious. You said you and that go together real bad. And he had a baby with another chick. Don't get mad now. At least you getting gifts. And after this, they still was tweeting at each other. But it was a lot. I'm talking about 10, 20 tweets of them just going back and forth. But just know they was going at it. And eventually, Diddy seen it. And he came out having to shut all that down. Diddy hopped on Twitter at Young Miami and said, this is not my side chick. Never been. She important and special to me and I don't play about my son. I don't discuss things on the internet and I won't today. So paint what you want, but know that if you do something to hurt mine, I'm gonna come to your house and we gonna talk like human beings. But that, he ain't never respond to it. And so for some months after this, Act wasn't really bothering her. She wasn't really bothering Act. And people thought that was the end of the situation until April 2023 came around. She hopped on an interview and was talking. And eventually she got around to talking about academics. She was talking crazy. I really think they should keep that same energy for me. And I really think that they should stop speaking on women because why the F do you care? Whatever I had going on in my dating life, why is it important to you? And so at seeing that, and he ain't respond right away. He waited and eventually got on stream one day just going crazy. He got on there talking about she talentless, she ain't this, she ain't that. Young Miami who recently did an interview basically saying she was tired of sharing a man. You know, I keep telling you, Young Miami is, you know, to me, a clown, right? She's a one-trick pony. She is not talented to do anything else. The only acting talent is to be like, yo, I'm pimping these dudes out. While you come out in interviews and you're crying. You was on Twitter, you balled to Diddy to DM me. Yo, yo, please, stop. he's calling me a side chick. Young Miami seen it, and she ain't get online screaming. She ain't get online doing none of that. She just responded with one comment, and that one comment gonna be important later on. But I can't say what she said. I'm pretty sure the internet get mad at me. She called him a Jamaican gay slur because act is Jamaican. And so for a minute, the world really wasn't thinking about it. Until not too long ago, Ack and Vlad was on the interview just chatting. And what they ain't know was that this little internet was finna spark up a whole war. But they get to talking. And eventually, the city girls get brought up. Young Miami in specific. And Ack gave a statement on what she had said to him in them IG comments early. I definitely say this about Young Miami. I believe a lot of black women is the reason why the levels of homophobia is what it is. Those people who usually had gay friends, right? Because, you know, women say they have a gay best friend. But let them get mad at a straight dude. They gonna try to belittle you by calling you gay. How y'all feel about that statement? But after this interview, it was just sitting for some days and this nigga act ended up getting into it with another woman, Glorilla. And so for this to make sense, Glorilla dropped the song, right? And the whole internet was calling it bad, including Kasane. And these two had a little friendship following each other on IG or whatever. And so the song ended up getting around to him. And Ka being Ka, he said the song was ass. And these artists today be so insecure, she ended up blocking, bro. Simply cause he ain't like one of her songs. No matter how much love he might've showed her in the past, him not liking one song caused her to block. I promise you, if somebody I know told me one of my videos was ass, I wouldn't be hurt. I wouldn't be doing all that. The nigga just being real. But back to the story. Glow block Ka. Then gonna hop on Twitter drunk, talking about some, I'm a unblock Ka. And Ka being Ka, he hopped on stream and told her to stand on what she did. But she wasn't just drunk tweeting. She hopped on IG Live drunk. You promote all that lotion. You can't hold the, hey, keep, keep my your mouth, ho. They ain't gonna tell you like I'ma tell you, ho. I'ma tell you. What's your big mother mine? Hold on, speak on me. Come on, speaking on me. Hey, and, and free and free and free KC, nigga. And this nigga act couldn't wait for her to say something about him. He got on Twitter talking crazy back. Act said, Glorilla, idiot. She really think K 
Casanet locked up. Her label must humble their stupid ass and realize it. You ain't bigger than the program, and Casanet is valued way more than you. She tried to cop a plea to him, but this me in the process. Glorilla officially a goofy. She said her and Casanet be some real street stuff. That chick delusional. He said Glow really feeling herself. She tweaking. She done fell off since Six Red took her whole lane. Ka kept it real, then you got mad at him. He kept the same energy. Then you folded and got mad at me. So after Axe said what he said, Glorilla got mad and she was like, look, I put money on it, I beat your girlfriend ass. And so they still was arguing on Twitter. But after this, the whole internet was going crazy. Everybody talking about it, dropping vids, all that. And before that situation could even die down, somebody else came into the picture. Remember what I had said, that interview clip was in the back, marinating it to this moment. It's nothing for Yama Amy to ever say to you because she a girl, you a man, you a and you on and you doing an interview talking about oh I was about to beef with Santana but I had to I had to ball I had to bow down because I was gonna lose. So you mean to tell me you could publicly bully a on the internet every mother day, but you don't want to get in, you don't want to get into a stat or a combat or a physical altercation with a mother gay boy? But you like to argue with though. Stop playing with people. The bitch on the internet. So Carisha got a party on Tuesday in Miami and pull up if you don't have to send it to her. Come and address me. Come and address the niggas that's gonna be in the mother room. Stop playing games on the internet and then you wondering why bitches body. And fat punks cause you're drama filled and you only with you only arguing with all mother day. I'm a nigga, I don't even do that. I'm a gay boy and I don't even fuck and so these two just start going back and forth and y'all heard what dr omar said at the start of the video santana threatened the lake pipe on act after he beat his ass but it was only a matter of time before act got on live respond here on out man let's everybody know man i'm cool with the lgbt community but no body man like fucking saucy santana could talk to me and we spit in your face nigga me and you couldn't even have a conversation he's a cocksucker nigga. I don't talk to me like you boy you need to go get right with god nigga. go get right with your mentality look in that mirror nigga. figure out what the fuck going on with yourself we ain't indicting no homosexual people or people who are whatever, but they like you, we know you got a mental illness, my boy. You got a mental illness, my boy. You trying to mix it up with a like me. And me don't got nothing for you, gang. I don't know. Like, listen, I'm an ugly. Just love me because I got the bread. I got the bag. I got the millions. I understand. Why the fuck a bitch ass nigga like you even trying to talk? I don't fuck niggas, man. I'm straight Jamaican. Before I do that, take me off this earth. I promise you. I'd rather be dead than be rocking with y'all. That's, that's, that's how I was born, that's how I was raised. It was getting so hectic, this nigga act started crying on stream. Bro, with the, everything we've talked about, bro, I've never cared about, I don't care what rapper got at me, bro, ever. But like, really, there's certain shit over it I really don't with in my life, and I would never do. But like, I gotta sit here and act like, I know I'm in, I'm in, I'm in America, I gotta sit here and just act like, I don't with certain shit. I would never like it. I'm only pretending. Because if I say what I want to say, I will never be here for y'all. But that's not my content. I don't want to be that person. I, I want to be the person who just have fun with y'all and some other shit. But after everything that went down, the whole internet was coming to act saying he only ever beef with females and go at female nicks. And the only reason he was talking to Sauce and like this because he gay. And look, say what you want, I take no sides in any of my videos, but I definitely got a real long history coming at anyone who talked to him sideways, men or women. Vlad even came out giving some thoughts on act in these situations. It's real annoying how academics is painted as a misogynist anytime he criticizes a female rapper. Everyone likes to ignore that 95% of the time he goes hard at male rappers like Lil Baby, Freddie Gibbs, Jay Critch. But if he ever mentions a female, it's always a man attacking a woman. If you a rapper, male or female, who chooses to put themselves out there, then you should be able to take criticism from male and female. And look, Vlad ain't wrong. I know y'all remember how at came at Freddie Gibbs. You a little I'll son you, your mama, your daddy, your son, your daughter, everybody. So when you talking about, oh no, you're, you're my son living, you're stupid, you dumb. I know exactly you live at i just i'm not that type of you don't live in a bigger crib even than me relax yourself little little bum ass you whoever you with your son relax yourself nigga. don't be trying to talk to me i'm a different league but who knows if this ag and sauce antenna beef even done all we do know is that this is not gonna be the last time at getting into some beef he a real problematic man kind of similar to the artist from my last video i love mccone this man dropped the hill with drake and everything went downhill after that i'm talking about he turned the whole game against him with one IG post. And that vid is on screen right now. 